Heart Health Check now. A local art studio is creating a positive symbol for mental illness. That's because they're using art to promote mental wellness. Health Check Town reporter Barbara Moore Silva has more. For the most part, the walls are bare in this art studio, but not for long. You see, all this art will soon be hung up on the walls. The art is part of a growing movement called Peace Love. We, st we started with a big vision and, uh, and lofty dreams. That was four and a half years ago when Jeffrey Sparr, who had suffered from depression for most of his life, began Peace Love. How this thing started was, uh, you know, I painted, it made me feel good. I thought it would help others. That's it. And over the years, it has. Peace Love now located at the Hope Artiste Village in Pawtucket. Sean Oleswold got involved with Peace Love last fall. I retired from the Navy after 24 years, and I'm a disabled vet. She says she was in a deep, dark place. So was Heidi Geisler, retired Army. And this actually, after I started Peace Love, is when people said they started seeing me smile again. And it all starts with a paintbrush or a colored pencil, maybe some glue, tape, or all of the above. We work with all types of different populations, kids, adolescents, um, adults, and really art is very powerful, it's very healing, um, and it builds community. Heidi can attest to that. This was the first mask she painted. It was just a really, really depressed time. I felt like I was a nobody, nobody cared. I couldn't say what I was feeling. And as she became more involved with art and the healing process, her masks reflected that. I have hope. I have a lot of hope now. Peace love has made a huge difference in my life. Sean created this picture. It starts with a darkness below. And then the grass represents um, my roots coming out of that deep, dark place. And the heart represents the love. And now Sean's keeping an art book. On page one, she writes, I am my own future. I can see it clearly now. Remembering only the good times from the past, forgetting the bad times, prevents us from moving on in the future. I shall overcome. And that's what Peace Love is all about, reaching out to veterans like Sean and Heidi, reaching out to any and all who've lost hope so they can, in essence, paint for peace. Heidi and Sean plan to go back to school and major in art therapy. They'd like to someday run a Peace Love studio in Boston. And there is a Peace Love studio soon to open in Las Vegas. The idea is growing. And this Thursday, Peace Love will be hosting a day-long mental wellness speaker series. There is a cost, but they're also offering scholarships to attend. For more on this event and Peace Love and the free workshops they offer every week, log on to turnattend.com and click on health. And that's Health Check. Barbara Morsilva, NBC10 News.